So today I'm going to go over the calculation <coughs> for the lab that we did, the determination of the molar mass of butane, and uh, if you recall butane is C4H10, so butane is a, a four carbon gas, which is fairly easily turned into a liquid under low pressure, probably a couple of atmospheres. There's a hydrogen attached to each of the end of these little sticks. And um, the butane was in a lighter, which we weighed before. And the lighter weighed 22.24 uh, grams before the experiment. Uh, then we put the lighter underneath the water here and allowed the gas to bubble into the graduated cylinder. The graduated cylinder fills up with gas to a certain level, any level would, would work. I'm going to say that I put in 0 .100 liters. Obviously that would have been in the graduated cylinder 100 milliliters. You need to make sure you have the right units for the calculation which is converting milliliters to liters. Okay. After we bubbled in this amount of gas, went ahead and weighed it again, and it went down by a seemingly small amount. And if you subtract that off, you get 0.23 grams of butane. And uh, so we're going to need this amount of weight. So the butane in here went down just a little bit, and we have the weight of it by how much it went down and we have the volume of the gas up here. We also took a temperature of the water. It was 25 degrees Celsius, which is 298 Kelvin. 298 Kelvin is what we'll actually use for the calculation. Inside this graduated cylinder, we have to take into account the fact that there are two vapors in there. There's water vapor in there because it's being collected over water and of course there's butane in there and these two add up to the pressure in the room, the atmospheric pressure in the room and um, this can be looked up on the internet in the given moment it turned out to be 255 uh, millimeters of mercury I'm kind of making these numbers up but um, this is, this is a good calculation. So we need to realize that to get the, the pressure of the butane, we're going to have to take these two numbers and subtract them off. Now you can look at, uh, find the pressure of water vapor at a specific temperature on the internet uh, for a chart. And I looked that up and it was, mm, what was the uh, amount? 19.8 millimeters of mercury. So if I subtract these two numbers, I get the pressure of just the butane. So I'm going to take that and bring it over here and start the calculation. So the 755 millimeters of mercury in the room minus the 19.8 millimeters of mercury that was the water vapor, which I'm subtracting off. The volume is 0 0.100 liters. According to our uh, ideal gas equation, PV is equal to nRT. We can find out the number of moles N. R is a gas constant depending on the, the units involved. I previously calculated that to be 62.36 for millimeters of mercury, Kelvin, liters. And of course we multiply here the temperature, uh, 298 Kelvin. Okay, so now I have all of the numbers that I need. Uh, first of all, I can subtract this off and I get 735.2 millimeters of mercury. And, uh, you know, so I can actually 
you know, erase this part right now. I'm going to use um, this amount here to plug it in for the pressure. So multiplying these two numbers together and then bringing these down and dividing by them, I isolate N, which is the number of moles of gas, butane gas. Doing the math, I get 0 0.00396 moles. Now I have the amount of grams of the butane, 0.23 grams from weighing it before and then weighing it after. Dividing that by the number of moles, 0 0.00396 moles. This gives me the number of grams per mole of butane, which calculates out to about 58 grams per one mole. And that agrees quite nicely with the formula uh, because C times 4 would be uh, 12 times 4. That's 48 plus 10 is 58 grams per mole. So the formula mass right off the periodic table of butane agrees quite nicely with our experimental result. So this is the basic calculation of how you determine the molar mass of a gas experimentally by bubbling it into a graduated cylinder with the volume. Very good. Hopefully this was helpful.